Four Girls Are Back. I'm Olivia Barker, and we're recreating Sex in the City style at one of their favorite stores, Henry Bendel. Finally, the girls are coming back. Everybody's so excited. I don't know about you, but I was obsessed with Sex in the City. So Anne, the fact that we're talking about Sex in the City at Henry Bendel is no accident. Pat Fields, who's the costume designer for Sex in the City, used to have a shop and shop here. And she dressed the girls from Henry Bendel, from the accessories to the fashion. And when it comes to Samantha, what has changed? Samantha has become more refined, slightly more elegant, and she doesn't have to like show it off as much as she used to. This is something Samantha would have worn on the TV series. It's an easy dress, it's very slinky, it's body conscious, and she always has a statusy bag, and we love this Loewe bag. So Samantha in the movie, you can see her wearing this at a client meeting, but then taking it to a cocktail party. The idea of a new power suit is fantastic. And the one that walked down the runway from Michael Kors is a sleeveless jacket, actually. And then it works as a vest. Love the long and lean. Again, Samantha is about flattering her silhouette. I think a lot of people might say that Miranda has made the biggest style leap. There's literally a ringing in my ear. Miranda really never had that strong a sense of fashion. But now she's more confident in her fashion sensibility. She's softer, she's more elegant. Maybe she can't wear this to court, but she can still <laughs> wear it to the office. And then she has a practical bag. Charlotte. She kind of epitomizes the Upper East Side, doesn't she? She does. She's our classic girl. Because her, her fashion sensibility is more classic, mm -hmm. it doesn't change with the trends as much. So we've put her in a Peter Somme red printed dress. It's out of Silk Gazar, and then just with a little small Carlos Fauci clutch. And then there's Carrie. I mean, if her look in the series was more street, she used to be the kind of the queen of mixing and matching and now she's a bit more refined. But maybe it's the engagement to Mr. Big that has her going more couture and more designer. So to recreate sort of campy Carrie, mm -hmm. circa the TV show. We took the Miriam Haskell earrings with a Robert Norman Duchess satin coat to an evil t-shirt, an Erickson Beeman big cuff, a hot, hot short from Stevenson, and of course an Angel Jackson bag. All right, it's what we're all waiting for in the movie, Carrie's wardrobe. <laughs> Carrie has gone a little bit more couture, but I wanted to address all of us, all of us who don't necessarily can't afford mm -hmm. couture, was taking a great Griffin trench over an Alice and Olivia brocade skirt, cinching it with a Griffin belt. I love that. <laughs> and I love the, the bow. And then it was the oversized ring by Messy Jilly. All right, I'm jealous. Oh, thanks. Here's how to get a Samantha look inspired by the movie. You know, the accents of gold for, for Samantha and the new power suit. A Miranda look print, particularly geometric prints. Don't be afraid of them. Geometric statement large ear in metal, whether it be silver or gold. Get a Charlotte look inspired by the movie. You pick a feminine pretty dress and small delicate jewelry. To get the Carrie look, it's all about the accessories. Yeah. You know, you must have an oversized ring as well as a full skirt. And so you can squeeze in a third, definitely the bow bag. That's it for Celeb Style. Tune in next week for more Style Secrets.